Hi, I'm John Sullivan with 401k Specialist. I'm here in Chicago at a meeting of the Nuveen Retirement Outcomes Leadership Committee. I'm joined by Josh Kopeck, who is with Connor and Gallagher, one source. And we were talking a little bit about plan design, Josh, and what are the absolute must-haves. What are those? Yeah, John, thanks. I think some of the must-haves that we see with plan design really have to do with a lot of the automatic features. Sure. Uh, that's definitely an industry trend, so things like automatically enrolling our employees directly into the plan uh, at a set percentage and automatically increasing that percentage over the years. Absolutely. So when we're talking about um, benchmarking success with participant outcomes, how specifically do you do it? That's great. We, we definitely look at some of the basics, uh, participation rates, deferral rates. Uh, we also dig a little deeper and, and look at uh, the employee's asset allocation as well, right. make sure that's in line with their uh, the demographic of the employees and their um, their age as well. I don't mean to put you on the spot here, but you know our readers love anecdotes about success, right? And how you yeah. really helped, uh, you know, participant or plan sponsor with outcomes. Is there you have some kind of an anecdote that you can share? Yeah, specific to plan design, uh, we, we've dug even deeper and, and looked uh, specifically at loan policies as well. Uh, we've met with a lot of companies that have uh, those repeat offenders for their uh, sure. their loans. They continue to take them out. So, uh, putting together a thoughtful loan policy to, uh, while make those assets available, uh, help the employees to not necessarily continue to take those retirement plan assets. So you don't have a problem with loans. That's. Uh I don't have a problem with it. You know, we we definitely see uh, you know some employees. I've heard horror stories out there about employees actually. Uh, quitting their job to get access. So yeah. the need is there. I don't think that we should necessarily get rid of them 100%. Uh, but again, a thoughtful loan policy where maybe we only allow one loan at a time. Yeah. Uh, maybe we uh, make there be a waiting period in between loans. Um, those are some things that uh, definitely uh, make the employees feel comfortable that they have access to their retirement plan assets, uh, but don't let the employees abuse it. Understood. Now, Connor Gallagher, one source. Tell me a little bit about it. Sure, our firm's right uh, outside of Chicago here. Uh, we started off as a commercial uh, insurance brokerage firm. Uh, we've since added employee benefits, consulting and administration. Uh, we do process payroll and uh, HR outsourcing as well. Uh, and then we run the retirement plan consulting division. Fantastic, wonderful. Yeah. Well, Josh, thanks so much for joining us. Do thanks, appreciate John. it. Thank you. Once again, I'm John Sullivan with 401k Specialist. Thank you.